Hey everybody, Chris McGraw from Almost Adventurous here. Uh, just wanted to do a quick little video on <clears throat> some ski bibs. Uh, these are the Patagonia Power Powder Town bibs. Um, I have used ski pants almost exclusively, uh, basically up until this year. Um, ever since I was like a little kid, we got a pair of bibs here. And I got a couple more that I ordered. I was curious to see which bibs I wanted to go with. Um, and so I ordered a few different ones um, from places that uh, luckily have a generous return policy, uh, which is good because I ended up not going with any of the new ones. But um, I'll just go over really quickly some of the features on these Powder Town bibs. So these are normally $2.99. I bought these for just under $200 <coughs> on sale. Um, so we have some belt loops here. We have a zip fly for the men. Um, these, this is going to be all men's. I haven't tried on the women's and uh, my wife doesn't ski or snowboard. So, um, you'll have to check those out on your own. Unfortunately, we do have some zippers here for some pockets can hold some stuff, not huge pockets. Uh, can probably fit a phone, but not a whole lot else. We have zip vents down the side here that open up. And same thing obviously on this side that open up here, only this is actually just the side zip to get into the pants themselves. So this has a double zipper so you can open it up to vent <clears throat> kind of a dual purpose uh, zipper there. And then we have this pocket up here that could probably hold like a sandwich or your phone or something. Um, these uh, Powder Town bibs are made out of a, uh, they're windproof and waterproof. They're made out of a two layer H2 No uh, material. Um, some of the other bibs that I'm going to review are Gore-Tex Pro and uh, 2.5 layer uh, H2 No. Um, my biggest, uh, the biggest thing I noticed was there's a huge difference between two layer and 2.5 layer H2NO for me. Um, and also these bibs are like really high. It's been a little while since I've worn um, ski bibs, but these ones are a lot higher than uh, say these ones here. Um, they almost feel like a little bit like um, waders for fly fishing. That's how high up they go. So if that's something that you're looking for, really, you know, keeping out, oops, really keeping out the snow up high, That'll be great for you. Um, it's a little, it almost feels a little restricting for me. I don't have super long legs. These are 32 and a half inch seam and, uh, and they're really long on me, like super long. Uh, this is a size medium. I feel like it fits my torso really well, um, but yeah, super long. And it does kind of feel a little bit, I've adjusted it to where it feels nice up top, but it does feel a little tight like in the crotch area. Um, so I'll have to uh, figure that out a little bit better. I think maybe just loosening these straps. Another thing, these straps seem really narrow to me. Uh, like if you look at the straps here, these are like hefty straps on these bibs here. But yeah, these ones just seem like a little bit narrow. Um, we do have nice material here that is, you know, rub tear resistant at the bottom, which is, is nice. And then we do have the reco reflector as well. So they're, they're like, they've got quite a few features. I'd say for me, the fit is a little off, but that's just for me personally, I'm five, seven, I have like a 29 inch inseam. So that 32 and a half inch inseam is going to be uh, big on me. That being said, once I throw ski boots and skis on, probably won't notice that as much because they're not going to be, you know, going past my, my ski boots for sure. Definitely not past my skis. Um, ultimately I did decide to return these. Uh, I just didn't think it really, even on sale, they were that great of a deal. Plus I don't, I tend to try to not buy new gear. Um, and so that was ultimately the, the reason I didn't go with these, um, because I was able to find something used that, better fit my needs all across the board. So that is the Patagonia Powder Town Bibs. Um, 
durability can't really comment on that because i haven't worn them out on the slopes i'm not going to wear them out of the slopes but the few reviews that i have read that people have have used them they've been pretty durable so that's something that hopefully should hold up plus patagonia's got that ironclad guarantee so if something does happen you can take it in get it repaired or replaced so powder powder town bibs there you go